Here's our kitchen plan again. Um, the first thing we'll do is try and locate, I'll provide some guidelines to locate our uh, pantry and fridge. So um, from the top wall, the northern wall, uh, we'll locate two construction lines um, offset 50 millimeters from that wall. So we've set the offset distance at one. Um, these are different types of offset. We'll just choose the polyline segment for this one. And we hover the mouse just below that line and click. And that will give us a line 50 mil below the upper wall, the northern wall. And we'll do that again. Um, these dimensions weren't specified on the original drawing, so I've just had a guess at 50. Um, now we'll draw a similar offset line along from the right hand wall there, and it's 16 mil away, which is the thickness of our filling panel. Um, now we will move on to the width of the pantry which is 500 millimeters so hover just to the left there and click and now we'll locate our refrigerator which is 804 mil wide and offset there and click again so that um, let's left click so that we have a position for our refrigerator now I should, probably, I should have put in another offset of 16 mil just to the left there, but I forgot to. Um, but we'll draw some cabinets now using the rectangle tool. So that, uh, that icon there, the width of our first pantry is 500 mil, and the depth or height in this case for the drawing program is 580 mil, and we'll choose the top left as our reference point or top right sorry as our reference point zoom in a little and click on that intersection and there's our pantry unit now uh, we have an accessory next which is the refrigerator the dimensions were specified on that original drawing uh, 804 wide so 804 and our depth I can't recall but it will be typed in here I'm dubbing over the top of this uh, video so there we have it there and it's located a little bit further back so 50 mil from the northern wall and there's our uh, refrigerator now we move back to some cabinetry and I should have put a fill panel in there just to the left of the fridge but we'll do that later so we'll choose a uh, rectangle again by dimensions and this will be 600 and a depth of 560 so we'll locate that against the wall and another one beside it was the same size that's our second base cabinet and our third one is 900 millimeters wide so we'll revise that to nine and click on that corner again it holds the reference point in memory if you want to change it you can before you left click and locate um, now I think I remember that um, it's not located correctly. Am I right? Yes. So now we'll put in the 16 mils of the end panel, which is in between the fridge and the first cabinet that we located. So I'll just click in there, hover, and just click just to the left of left hand side of the fridge and that is where the end panel will go we will choose the three cabinets and move them 
So we'll zoom in and click on that intersection and move it across to the other intersection and we want to delete the original so that now gives us room to locate our, in, our panel in between the cabinet and the fridge. So we can delete these two lines which we use for construction now and I'll delete one of those uh, we'll leave the other one in there until we've located the fill panel. So we'll choose fill panel and we'll be doing a rectangle there by size and the width will be 16 millimeters and the height will be 500 and sorry 700 millimeters because it covers the side of the fridge and we'll locate it using the top left because it's the best way to do it and there it is there in position and we have a second fill panel which is located to the right of the pantry panel the first panel we located and the height of that I'm not sure what we generally use but I've guessed 100 and I don't have anywhere to actually locate that so I'll have a bit of a guess and just click which I've done now that isn't on the edge of the pantry so we'll have to move it so we'll use the move so we choose it and move it zoomed into slightly the wrong spot, we'll move, click there and move it across to the intersection and we do want to delete the original so there it is there. So our next uh, objective is to fill those two panels with a hatch so I try to actually select the larger of those two panels now but because there are other lines in there, it won't allow me to choose only the um, panel uh, lines. So the best way to do that is to make the other um, layers invisible, which uh, we'll do now. So you click on the eye icon of these panels and I've removed the cabinetry and removed the accessory and now I've removed the walls. So now as you can see we have the panels left visible. There's one, we can hatch that. Click on the hatch using a solid fill and that one's hatched or filled. Same again with the smaller panel, OK, and that one is also filled. So we can turn the other layers back on and delete that guideline, construction line. Don't forget to save your work and thanks for watching this tutorial.